Hey there, Eamon. So Scott Patterson here with Porsche Mama. Thanks again for calling in. Pleasure speaking with you. Uh, wicked hot down here. So I found the, the last little bit of shade I could find to take the video. Uh, I've looked at this car once, uh, one other time with uh, someone and it was just more money than they uh, could spend. Um, I think even one of our area vice presidents kind of looked at one of these. Um, I think he was trying to find new, but you just couldn't find any. Um, so I did a, a pretty good look around. I don't find, actually, I, I don't find much I would even really feel <clears throat> strongly confident about calling out as, a, as, as far as problems with the car. Um, quick look at all the wheels. There was, there's one wheel that I saw that has very minor scuffing on. I'm gonna open the doors in just a second. Really, here it is right here. This is the wheel. I almost forgot which wheel it was. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you can get that focused. There you go. That's like the worst. This one wheel has this spot and the one up there. Uh, as far as stuff on the car itself, really very little. Uh, there's some, I mean, there's some bugs and stuff. This is the only part that I really saw that um, that I would even bother calling out. Like, the car's been out for, uh, I wanna get refocused again. The car's been outside for a while, so there's some, uh, and maybe on a couple test drives, there's some bugs and some, looks like uh, um, spots that would come out with a, with a quick clean. For having a massive front end, it's not even like I don't even see stone chips, honestly. Uh, so now, take a quick look at the mirrors. I don't see any problems with these mirrors. Usually, bugs everywhere. So these spots that I'm seeing here, I think they're all bugs and and the like. So you most likely know more about these cars than I do. As I said, it does have these nifty little uh, um, rails that pop out. So inside, as you said, uh, pretty clean on the inside. I actually, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm, well, I'm slightly embarrassed to say I, I didn't even know how to put this car in, in drive. Um, there's a little scuff here on the steering wheel. There's some, uh, it actually looks worse in the video than it is. There's some discoloration right here. I think with a leather cleaner, you know, that might even come out. It's got all weather mats everywhere. <clears throat> there is on this seat in particular, a little bit of something that might also come out. I didn't bring any kind of interior detailer with me. There's your rear seat entertainment. Um, and again, you know, little scuff up there. Hopefully that comes through. There is also, there's, it's all weather everywhere. I'll hop in the car. Oh, you know what? There's a, here's something right there. I bet that, I mean, that's not deep. That's like a rubbing compound. We'll get that out. Um, I'll hop inside fast. Give me a chance to cool off. Anyway, just a quick look around in case you see stuff that you're looking for that I'm uh, not pointing out, but you can even turn the head up display off and on here. Um, kind of cool. I have the air conditioning blasting. It's not, it is, well, speaking of cool, it's nice and cool in here. So now 12,772. Uh, discrepancy from what's online. Holy mackerel, I've never seen this either. Uh, it has, that certainly looks like a camera. Yeah, uh, how about that? Anyway, I'm learning as I go. Uh, that looks like a camera view out the back. You can see the little flicker is the head up display. This is a giant vehicle. Uh, some scuffs there. Again, I think it's just somebody careless um, and some leather cleaner would get that out of there. The wireless charging pad down here did work with my, uh, my whatever I have here. My phone, Nexus Max. This is the tricky part. I didn't realize I was pushing these buttons. You actually lift up on them. So. up. There's the reverse camera to drive. 
you lift up. So I learned something there. Um, everything looks just fine and dandy here. Nice. I mean, I actually, I don't know what the wood's called. Maybe there's a bill sheet somewhere on the car. Um, it's a sharp looking car. Um, cup holders there. I'll hop back out and get you some looks at the other side of the car and the trunk. It's gotta be a release for the trunk somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's on the key, which would have been nice for me to. I'll just go with the fact that it's probably unlocked and just that's nice and clean in there. I was kind of a pet peeve of mine. This is end up gonna end up being a quite a long video, I, uh, I'm afraid, but um, so. Yeah, maybe these are the scuffs you're talking about. You have some controls here, scuffs on this side too. Generally speaking, these little plates here, not too bad. I've seen them on our cars, much more scuffed up than this. Again, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything that jumps out to me back here that doesn't look like it's not uh, cleanable. There is some just as, you know, uh, uh, stuff that a nice detailing would take away. And all the, this is already a six minute video, sorry, uh, Eamon. Uh, but, so the, uh, the step expands automatically. There's your rear seat controls. Just another view from this side of the car. I don't know, I don't see anything here that is um, disconcerting. And I'll mention this to you. What I'll probably do is I start vacation tomorrow. So I'm gonna probably, in my note to you, or my text, I'm gonna tell you two of my colleagues. One of them will probably be assisting you in my absence. No worries there, they're my buddies. They're good guys, we're all good. Oh, uh, you know what? I wish I'd brought my Griot's leather cleaner out. Some discoloration here. I think the leather cleaner is gonna take care of that. Um, I'm kind of a fastidious guy with my cars, so I don't think it's a problem. Uh, that stuff. Um, anyway, almost eight minutes long. Don't want to uh, bore you. Someone's looking for a car. So that you hear that siren going on in the background. Sorry about that. It's our detail crew, I think, looking for to clean a sold, uh, looks like a base Macan. Anyway, thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Great car. I mean, it's just my wife and I and two dogs. I don't need a vehicle this size, but if you do, this is a great one. I bet the price is good, comparatively speaking, if you can even find others out there. Thanks again. You'll have this video shortly.